Let's talk about how tarantulas interact with their environment. All right? They don't move very much. Tarantulas, with, well, let me talk a little bit about more about the, uh, them being arthropods. We all have a skeleton underneath us, in us. All arthropods have an exoskeleton, all right? That is, when they get too big, their, ex, their skeletons on the outside, they got a molt. All right, and I have here, these are not spiders, tarantula, these are their shed exoskeletons. And you can see right here is um, a Mexican uh, red knee uh, tarantula, just like Annie is, this, skeleton, this exoskeleton right here. We go over the top of our skeletons, sometimes too much. But these guys have to molt when they get too big. All right? And, and she's actually quite beautiful. I think, I don't, I think she molted about a year ago. Um, a little bit about tarantula anatomy. As you know, they have eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have an abdomen, okay? They have what's called cephalothorax, and they have two very large fangs. See them right here? I've got a pair of them right here. They're quite big. And they're connected internally to their venom glands. Now these venom glands, how bad do you think a ven the venom of a tarantula is? The bigger the spider. Think it's really bad? No. It's about as bad as a bat bee sting or a hornet sting. And you're not going to get hurt by it unless you're allergic to the venom. Like some people are allergic to bee sting venom. So it's not nearly as venomous as you think, like as some other spiders are, like the black widow or the brown recluse. Which I'm not going to kill either, but it's got a really nasty venom. Really nasty venom. But they have such robust fangs, and they can hold on by these pedipalps to their prey so well, they don't need a really strong venom. All right? Okay? Now, when they eat, if she's hungry, and hopefully she is, she's going to grab the prey very quickly. All right? and inject the venom into it, which paralyzes the cricket, all right? And then she, from her mouth, which is separate from her venom gland, she's going to exude her digestive juices. They don't have mouth parts like crickets and grasshoppers. So they can't chew. So they exude their digestive juices and dissolve the prey on the outside, all right? And then once it's turned into sort of a mushy slurry, they suck it back in. Sounds pretty gross, but all spiders eat that. Because they don't have moving mouth parts. Right. Now, let's talk about the senses of a tarantula. She's got eight eyes. She's got this little model here. You can see the eight eyes. Do you think she sees very well with eight eyes? 